Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java development tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll continue to talk about the result set metadata which we spoke about in the last tutorial. So our initial setup is very similar to the last one that we are talking to a database by using username and password. Inside the try block, we are downloading the driver and establishing our SQL statement. And on line number 24, we are executing the SQL statement and then line numbers uh, 26 through 31, we are replacing the two question marks with the values coming from the user. And now, what we will do different here is what I will show you next. Instead of pulling the data, as we saw in our last output, that I was getting column information and I was getting uh, record information in the whole nine yard, in this example, we will do something different. What we will do in this example, as you can see here, is I'm running my result set as I ran in my last example, and I am grabbing the result set metadata from the result set and pushing it into the result set metadata object. So far, everything is exactly the same. Then I'm running a for loop very similar to the last one where we ran a for loop from one through the column count. But in this example, I'm not just pulling the column names. I'm also pulling, besides the column name, the column data type and also the column display size. Now let me show you the output of this, uh, app, this application. So as I run my program, you can now see that I take an input as before of the range that I would like to display. And now instead of getting the output of the data, I can see the column name, I can see the column data type, and I can see the column size, which is basically coming through the built-in function of the results set metadata class, get column name, get column type name, which is the data type of the column, and get column display size, which is the length of the column. So if you are creating a database management software, or if you have any need of giving to your user or programmer information about the column in which the data will gonna go, this is a cool way of doing that. You can build this interface in JavaFX. In fact, we will going to do our next example by building a form in JavaFX, which would allow us to push data into the database. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.